Well, welcome back to uh, part two of this uh, little project and now what we're going to do is try and bring this to life a little bit. So I'm going to start off by painting some PVA uh, glue. This is let down 50% water. I'm just going to put it on little bits here. Just going to spread it about a bit and I shall sprinkle that now with some of this uh, blended blended earth or blended turf and uh, we'll sprinkle a bit of that on there get it to uh, go where I put the where I'll put the PVA Now a bit over the top. Right. Uh, I've just got my wet water. Let's give that a bit of a spray. And then Using a pipette, and I'll drop a bit of it on, bind that in. Right, now I'm going to try a little bit of this, uh, uh, it's, uh, I call this spring static grass, but I'm just going to uh, put some of that on there. I use uh, this static grass applicator. So we'll just get it going up and get it to pick up a little bit. Right, well, I'm not going to try and show you how to make trees because there are a lot of people out there that are far, far better at it than me. Uh, and I believe I said Mark Cowan yesterday, and of course it's not, it's Luke Cowan. And uh, if you ever want to learn how to make really, really good dioramas, here's the chap to watch because he is extremely good and uh, very clever at it. But now I'm going to put these few little trees that I've made into the diorama, but it's not... Uh, I'm not able to get it very high because the slope of the roof so the trees are going to be fairly low and uh, they'll be unfortunately higher at the front than they are at the back which is uh, a bit of a shame really but never mind that we can't do anything about it unless I rebuild the house so I'll change the roof but we'll stick these few in here now and uh, See what it's beginning to look like. Another another chap who's really good at this sort of thing is uh, Martin of Sweden. He does some uh, really interesting scenery products, and uh, he makes it interesting. So, there's another one that I would recommend anybody having a look at if you haven't already. I'm also going to add some uh, this clump foliage uh, along the bottom here. Random.
because I haven't got the height of the back there, well, I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make that a grassed area. Uh, and then I won't have any problems with uh, having to lift the roof of the house or anything like that. So just turn this around. And there's my trusty brush. So there we are then, a uh, little bit of added scenery, uh, quick, easy and very, very cheap. So, uh, yes, just finish off that corner a little bit. Uh, one or two details to do, deal with at the other end uh, of the polished iron and this end as well. And put the ballast down for the tracking. And uh, yes, that will do for now. So we've transported from that to that. Dead easy, very simple, very cheap. Go on, have a go. I'm going to have to do something about this hole here, make a little building to put on there. <laughs> 